Welcome back everyone. It is Tuesday and today I'm going to rip a box of 2021 Panini Prism. This is a blaster box recently picked up at Target. Uh, later this week I will have a flea market finds video both on Sunday and Monday. My wife traveled to some different areas. Sunday we went to a couple of uh, uh, flea markets that we went to a few times, picked up some nice things. Monday decided I want to go to some different ones. So we traveled about an hour, hour and a half away, and found some really good places to go. Uh, a couple of them had some really good prices, and a couple of them did not. So I'll get into that when we get into those videos. But uh, let's get into what we're here for today, which is to rip this box of 2021 Panini Prism. We're going to start off looking at the box real quick. Here you see Kevin Harvick. You get four cards per pack, six packs per box, plus one bonus pack with the exclusive uh, retail green and yellow Hyper Prisms, bringing our total to 27 cards. Oops. Uh, let's see what we have here. There's what those uh, bonus cards look like. You get three per pack, or three per box in this case. Look for the Blaster exclusive Black Finite One of One Parallels. It'd be nice to find one of those. There's the Sideways box version, social media information, and uh, we're just going to scroll through this really quickly because Panini does, I don't know whether you want to say an incredible job or a ridiculous job of producing parallels. There's our security tag in the bottom. Hey, we've not looked for the hashtag on this product. Well, our hashtag appears to have uh, become extinct. Don't see the hashtag on there. There is our exclusive pack. Let's see here in two, three, four, five, six packs. None of them feel thick, so it means we're probably not going to get. Uh, uh, I don't know if there's even relics in here. We might get an autograph. That'd be nice. Uh, like this gradient that they do: the green, the blue, the purple. Top of the pack's green, bottom of the pack's purple. All the same information on the back of the pack can be found on the outside of the box. I know you guys want to get to the meat of this sandwich, and we're going to start off with Austin Dillon. It's kind of funny, the Dillon brothers have seemed to, in a way, become a meme for this channel, or even a, I don't know what you call it, an omen or something like that, because we pull a lot of their uh, relics and so forth. Kyle Bush has been uh, making a lot of appearances, too, with autographs, so I'm not going to complain about that. There's Noah Gregson. Ryan Vargas. I believe he'll be back with Johnny Davis Motorsports. And we have one of these shiny orange cards of Jesse Love. That one's really nice. Not numbered, but it is one of those orange... I don't even know what these are called, because Panini creates so many levels of parallels. Go to pack number two here. Hopefully we'll get equally as good cards out of this, or better. Start off with a Kyle Busch, Speak of the Devil. This is a variation card. It does have the trophy. And there you see the uh, checkerboard on the back. And we're going to pull this to the front because that's our code card. Got a bunch of those I need to enter. There's a Richard Petty Legends card. A Daniel Hemrick Silver. And a Teamwork William Byron. Packs haven't been too bad so far. Was that Petty an insert? No, it's a base set card. Okay. Up next, pack number three. Three out of six. Could a number for a six or seven pack. So pack number three, we're going to start off with Tyler Reddick. Bailey Curry is next. Flashbacks, Bill Elliott. And we're going to end with a National Pride of Eric Jones, NP9, so that one is an insert, I didn't put that silver in there in the parallel insert stack, but uh, be alright, cross flags are out on the base packs, of course we still have the bonus pack to go, we pull another Kyle Bush. this is another, this is not the variation, Ryan Repko, I believe he races in the Arca series. 
I'm going to slide this one out of here real quick. There we go. Denny Hamlin wheels. And we have, oh, wow, Illuminations, Silver, Richard Petty. That one looks spectacular. Really like that card. Really pops with that uh, background. So let's go ahead and dig that other silver out just so I don't... There we go. Two more packs to go. This pack feels slightly thinner, but maybe because the last couple packs have had those uh, uh, gaming or the code cards. Start off with Daniel Hemmer, 2021 Xfinity Series Champion. Kurt Busch. Joey Logano variation. There you see the checker board on the back. And then a Kevin Harvick burnouts. B2. So that is an insert. And a white flag is out. Final pack of the day. Before we get to our bonus pack, of course. We're going to start off with a Carl Edwards Legends. way these sets are listed, or the way the sets are represented, so many of them I don't know if they're base or if they are uh, insert sets. Natalie Decker, I don't think this is the short print or the variation. It is not. Then we have a Haley Deegan. And then we have a red Cody Vanderwall. This one should, is this one numbered or no? Is it numbered on the front? I am not seeing a number. But still a nice looking card. Cody Vanderall. Vanderwall. And then our final pack is the Prism Green and Yellow Parallel Pack. So hopefully we will pull something uh, spectacular out of this. And there's Austin Dillon once again, just kind of teasing us there. Really like the way these particular cards look. So we have Noah Gregson. Our final card is Ryan Vargas. So is that the first three that they came out? Let's see here, Dylan, Gregson, and Vargas. So apparently these uh, these get lined up the same way as the base cards do. A little interesting, but we will take it. Not a great blaster, but certainly not the worst. So uh, I need to find me a few more. These are really do like opening these, but I probably... I'm going to get the uh, get me a hobby box soon so we can get some guaranteed autos. But we got Vanderwall, Harvick Burnout, Silver Hemrick, this really awesome Petty Silver Illumination, National Pride Eric Jones, and Jesse Love. I'm not sure what you call that orange parallel, but it is pretty sharp as well. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Drop me a comment. Uh... Always engaging, I always enjoy engaging with every one of you guys. So as always, thanks again. Enjoy the rest of your Monday. We will see you tomorrow.